Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 20th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, looking at our sun. The only safe way to look at our sun today. Going through solar cycle 25. Right now, there are three active sunspot regions. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. No major sunspots cresting into view right now. Plasma filament taken off there, creating a CME. And we've had multiple CMEs taking off from the sun as of late. Activity in the outgoing direction as well. Look at the last 48 hours here on the right side of our sun, which is outgoing. Active uh, sunspot region there. Minor C-class solar flares associated. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the most active and peculiar regions. The last 48 hours and as well plasma filaments pointing out here that are stretching from the surface in the northern hemisphere. Looking at another light here, dark and black region is a coronal hole. Noting the region in between those two coronal holes, plasma filament stretched there with a sunspot region right there. So we got a happy little trio cresting into view right now. And as I said, it's been quiet for the last couple of days. Minor C-class solar flares, 1M-class solar flare. Having a look at another light, you can really see the atmosphere and the heliosphere of our sun in action. Three sunspot regions to talk about right now. Current space weather conditions that are none to report. But a minor geomagnetic storm is expected throughout tonight and into tomorrow. Solar winds coming in at 333 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in a lower B range after shooting off some minor C-class solar flares today. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated there with the KP2. ISWA space prediction spiral showing a Big CME taking off towards Mercury. But we also had two other CMEs that are not noted here. This was the spiral for the one prediction. This is a new one here. You can see another minor CME taking off outgoing position. But look at all the energy that has changed. With all the uh, cosmic energy coming from our sun in that space weather spiral. Having a look at LASCO 3, showing the three CMEs that I was talking about. Two of them were pretty big, shot out towards Mercury. And as well, the most recent one shooting out towards the southwestern region. Another closer look here, and we'll slow that down. As you can see, that bright star heading in behind the sun, that is Mercury. little cosmic dance party for the planet as a coronal mass ejection is shot out towards Mercury. And as well, another one here in the southern region, not in an Earth-directed fashion. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we're just slightly above average, just over 200 earthquakes, largest being this 5.8 earthquake, Guam Village, or Marizo Village in Guam, as well, yesterday, notable 5.9 earthquake in the Philippines towards the Tal volcano. As well, activity here through Indonesia, 5.2 towards the Krakatoa, Anak Krakatoa. Little baby Krakatoa still awake. And then we get to Fiji here. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 591 kilometer depth, 4.4 there, Fiji. As well, notable 4.6 New Zealand. 4.7 here, the Arabian Plate up into Iran, and a 4.9 south of Africa. Very quiet through South America right now, Central America and North American Plate. So all across the eastern ring of fire right now, it is a very quiet zone as we're seeing most of the activity 
in the West and Northwest Ring of Fire. But notable activity going through the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Noting that all the elevated rings are showing the depths of the earthquakes. Deepest the last 24 hours, 591 kilometer depth. And it looks like it is the deepest the last seven days as well. So watch through these quiet regions as we will see an uptick in seismicity, especially if we see any space weather events associated. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the show. Give you a quick glance here at what our volcanoes are doing to our atmosphere. Looking at the SO2 forecast for the next three days. Huge low pressure system dragging down some SO2 from volcanoes in Kamchatka, eastern Russia as well notable volcanoes through Mexico. So most of the SO2 is coming from those volcanoes, Kamchatka and Mexico, but some pretty thick particulates here are still being shared. And as well, looking in the Southern Hemisphere, not much has changed. Still lots of SO2 swirling around the mighty Erubus volcano. Having a look here over most of Russia, Southeast China, India, and Iran, Iraq. Lots of SO2 there. And as well through uh, Central Africa, towards the near Maragongo, near Marigira volcanoes. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com. Same with that sulfur dioxide forecast. Looking across the Indian Ocean and West Pacific. We've got two cyclones that are here forecasted, one for Oman and the border with Yemen, and as well one for eastern parts of India. But it looks like it may be downgraded and could head eastward in the long range. But forecast showing there are two cyclones developing in the east. And as well, pretty strong system there affecting New Caledonia and New Zealand. Strong system here. We've got Hurricane Norma and Hurricane Tammy. Tammy heading up into the Atlantic provinces. Going to bring a wallop of a storm there. Very strong, strong winds associated. And as well, some strong winds coming in through the Gulf of California as Norma most likely will be making landfall there and then heading across Sierra Nevada's just as a huge low pressure system here develops in the northern hemisphere that is going to change things drastically looking at all these snowflakes that are going to be falling in the long range forecast for most of the Canadian provinces in eastern Canada as well notable there are pretty strong systems battering Greenland and Iceland but this is going to be a big player this will definitely swing us into winter in the long range forecast. Overlooking at Europe, we've got a tropical system that just made landfall through parts of Ireland and the United Kingdom. Got another one that's going to be coming into the coast of Spain by Monday into Tuesday. And then watch for another wallop of weather as these systems just keep clashing into each other and joining forces, getting bigger, getting stronger. Heads up, everybody, through Europe got some big changes coming. Let's have a quick glance here at our upper level winds. Watching for this polar vortex to get fully set up. And we're getting close, folks. This is the current view overlooking the northern, the North Pole and as well the equator here overlooking the Pacific Ocean. quick glance at how everything is looking in our upper level winds. Southern Hemisphere. Interesting shapes, that's all I can say. And I've been sharing this with you with you all as we've been going through these changes together. Now I wanted to share with you what it looked like this time last year. 
Um, that's quite a difference, folks. Notable through the equator. And as well, how far down the polar vortex is stretching already. Big change is coming, folks. And it's going to happen in an instant. So be ready. Bless up. And prayers for our humanity. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.